Are you getting tired of frying your egg on your driveway or on top of your head? There's a heat wave going around all of the country and you might not be safe anywhere except for here in Ventura County. Come with me as we explore how hot it really gets in all of Ventura County. Since the 1960s, heat waves have become significantly more frequent, more intense, longer, and, ha and have occurred across a wider seasonal range. Temperatures are projected to increase by 5 degrees by mid-century and 10 degrees by the end of the century. When looking at this diagram, it sure makes me happy we chose not to move to Florida. Actually, one of the main reasons we chose to live in Oxnard was because of the weather. Here's an overview of all of Ventura County and what it looks like today. In this big heat wave, I was over in Oxnard and it's 66 degrees right now. Just a few days ago, I was taking some clients out and we went to the beach and one of them said, boy, it's actually chilly here. Now I'm gonna break it up by city. And in each city, first we're gonna talk about the weather and how it's increasing. Then we'll talk about humidity. It does happen here. And then we'll actually talk about the wind because those three factors actually do affect what it's like to live in a place. Because we started the video off in Oxnard, then let's start off looking at Oxnard. Right now, it's 66 degrees at the beach. If you're living closer to the dock homes, it's 67. If you're living in my neighborhood, then you're looking closer to 68, 69. Um, North Oxnard, people go, ah, oh, we live in North Oxnard. So as you're traveling north, you're gonna be going up to temperatures, um, Wagon Wheel, 72 degrees currently, and River Park actually up to 73, 74 degrees. As you travel closer to Port Wainimi, again, closer to the ocean, 67 degrees, and as you move out, 68, 69. Those on the outskirts of Oxnard, you're looking about 71, 72 degrees currently. Now let's travel over to Ventura. Over in the Pierpont neighborhood, 69 degrees, 68 degrees. That travels all the way over. You can move up the highway and there are these little pockets of custom homes which have just beautiful views. And I remember going and sitting on one of the patios of one of these houses and just watching dolphins, this pod of dolphins swimming by. It was really magical. Then you move up to Hillside, and Hillside is 71, 72. The west side, so you're looking at 72, 73, all the way up to 75 degrees. And then as we're moving over to the Montalvo area, you're looking at 73 degrees. Um, college, 73, 74. And as you're traveling over the east and you're looking up to almost 78 degrees where those new Shea homes are being built in the Satakoy area. Traveling up to Santa Paula, as you keep moving, it's getting hotter and hotter. So 84, and again, all relative. It's when you're up on the hillside, 85 degrees. And as you're moving closer to Fillmore, of course, it's getting hotter and hotter. One of the things we notice when we're visiting Fillmore is as you go over to where there's the new construction and new homes that have been built recently in the last uh, four or five years, the trees aren't as established and so it does feel hotter than when you go onto the more established side of Fillmore where there's a lot more trees and so when you're walking, they, you have a little more protection. Piru. 95 and you do feel that i know santa clarita is not in ventura county but it is a place that a lot more people are asking us about because there are some amazing communities being built over there and the first thing i noticed when i got over there was that i was really hot um i think also not just because it's on the east side but again those trees they're just not there yet because there's so much new construction and when you also go there and you look at air quality you're going to have a lot more ozone coming up off of the ground which does make it a little more difficult for people with asthma another real popular place that people are calling us about is ojai as you're going up through ojai you're going to hit casita springs and then Oakview and Miramonte, Miner's Oak, and just keep on going. And as you notice, it just gets hotter and hotter. 
I remember the first time I actually went up to Ojai and I brought Goober, our dog, and thought, oh great, we can have a nice little hike here after I um, visit with a client. And not a good choice. Luckily, our client really liked dogs because I had to bring her in with me because it, you just can't leave a dog in that type of heat. Another place that people are always checking in about is Camarillo. Now Camarillo, you're looking at 79 degrees. That's almost 10 degrees hotter than Oxnard currently. If you get closer to the airport, you're 75 degrees, 76. And then as you go up closer to the golf course areas, you're 79 again. Um, if you're looking more at moving closer to Leisure Village, then probably around 82 degrees. And if you're really interested in that new construction area about Anacapa Canyon, when we were over, when I was over there with one of our clients who just recently purchased her home there, uh, it just was sweaty. It was, it was so, it was a dry heat. Well, it's not truly called a city, Somas is over here too. If you're looking for more of a small town feeling near Camarillo, then you might want to look at this little town. And following the road all the way up to Moore Park, we're at 88 degrees. So like we talked about before, you're just getting further and further away from that really cool breeze. Moore Park does have a lot of trees though and one of the best coffee places. I know Bart absolutely loves traveling over there to get his coffee beans. Just a hop, skip and a jump, we're over at Simi Valley. Simi Valley is the hottest city in all of Ventura County. However, we know that people still absolutely love living there and it's still cooler than Santa Clarita or Las Vegas. Oak Park. <laughs> I actually was surprised that Oak Park wasn't the hottest in all of Ventura County because when we were over in Oak Park, it felt like the sun was on top of us. It was so hot. Bart was having to spray me down with some water as we were doing our Oak Park video. Maybe that's because we were coming up from Thousand Oaks and not coming down from Simi Valley. Speaking of that, Thousand Oaks, really huge. And so as you're getting closer to the mountain area, it's 84 degrees. And as you're going up higher on your way over to Moore Park, of course, it's getting hotter. It looks like a, it can be actually five degrees hotter as you're going up. Newberry Park. One of our viewers is actually the reason that I decided to do this video because they got me thinking about, is it really cooler in Newberry Park than it is in Camarillo, like they said it was. So let's take a look. We're over here in Newberry Park. It's about 82 degrees, 83 degrees. Uh, and then we travel over to Camarillo and it says here 79, 80 degrees. So it might be just that Newberry Park gets a little more of a cooler wind than um, Camarillo does at times. Westlake Village is part of Ventura County and also LA County. So as we're going over, we see that 86, 87 degrees. And on the way to Calabasas, Calabasas, LA County, but we can still cover you there. Our most current clients who are by, who just went under contract for their house um, live in Calabasas and they are thinking about selling their home. So if you are interested in buying a home in Calabasas, this is the time. Come and take a look at this house. There we have it. We've been, we've done a little bit of map walking of Ventura County and seeing about how hot everywhere is to see if you're more interested in living here than you are living where you're at now. Zoom Earth also shows humidity and I did find it really interesting that even Thousand Oaks has 43% humidity right now. One of our clients does have humidity induced asthma. And so when I found this site, I just thought I really needed to share this in case anyone else has that same issue. You'll wanna take a look at this map and just see, is this the right place for you or not? So while Ojai, for my 
So while oh hi for me is too hot, she is looking at it thinking this is perfect for her. And that's why I wanted to show you all of Ventura County because there is a perfect city for everyone here. And what about the wind? There are times when we get to walk the dogs in the middle of the summer and we have to wear a coat because the wind is so strong. If you if you don't like that much wind, then you want to definitely be at the beach in the morning. Because when you go to the beach a little after noon, all the way over to around six o'clock at night, there are some gusts there. Just looking at the map right now, you can see that Newberry Park does get some more gusts of wind over here than Camarillo in certain parts. So that would cool it down. Unless you're looking at the Santa Ana ones and those are a little warmer. I remember just doing some videos with Bart and he was shivering in August. His teeth were all chattery and he had blue lips. And I just thought, oh my gosh, we have really become so spoiled living here. When we were in Colorado, we would have been like, oh my gosh, please give us one of these cooler days in August. But here, I just I feel like we're all really spoiled. Living in Ventura County isn't just about the weather, but it's about all of the great activities you can do here. So make sure you catch our next video on comparing and contrasting all of the cities in Ventura County. And give us a call, Bard and Kaziah. We are real estate agents and we love to take our clients around looking at all of the different neighborhoods, cities, and homes in Ventura County.